<laughs> and Meg apparently. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video wasn't planned at all, but I really, really want to film it today. I actually stayed up till three o'clock in the morning to make sure I'd fully edited for today's video. But I was down at the farm this morning and we were filming for Look North. So, so I thought this is the best time to kind of actually introduce you guys to the farm and tell you all about it the day that we're on Look North. So we'll be on in about, I think it's an hour and 15 minutes from when this video goes live. I'm so excited and I really, really hope you guys check it out. So I was first introduced to the farm in my first year of college, which was three years ago now. I started off by working there as a volunteer and just helping them out and cleaning out and taming animals and just looking after them, helping and just doing general husbandry tasks. I worked for them for three years at college just to do my work experience and to get my hours because I have to get 150 hours a year for uni and college. And after that, they kind of said, well, do you want to stay and do you want to just stay and help out? And now we're more like family friends and I go over and I help them and cause I don't need the hours anymore for college, but I still want to help and work with them. And it's just such amazing opportunities I get too. So I still work there now, but I don't really class it as work anymore. So I volunteer and I still help, I still help out there now. So this video is going to be a mixture of a tour of the farm and me just chatting a little bit and giving you some context about it. So I'm going to be flipping between a tour and me chatting. So I really, really hope you enjoy. So I just wanted to start off with a little overview video of the farm. And I'm going to show you a few little photos and videos as we go along too. I'm super, super excited to be filming this today. This is on the farm where I work and it's called Ian's Mobile Farm. I'll be leaving links down below. So I'm doing this video mainly just because of lockdown and I've wanted to do a bit of a tour of the farm for a while anyway. I normally said don't forget to like, subscribe and comment, but don't forget to check out the farm's link, the first page, all the socials, because it will be in the description box down below. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a tour of the farm set and I've got a little help with me too. Hello, my name is Beth and I live on the farm and I'm going to help show you all of the animals today. So my granddad got an absolutely amazing experience not long before he died and afterwards he would not shut up about it he'd go around telling everybody he saw he'd tell people in the supermarkets and he'd be telling everyone so i think not only is this something that i feel very passionate about and i want to help save but i know my granddad would too but he went in with the goats and he was feeding the donkeys and he had the best day ever and it was an amazing experience and no one else could have ever provided something like that for him and they were just absolutely incredible with him and I could not thank him enough. So we're now going to go over and show you all the sheep and Beth's going to introduce all the names too. So to start off with, these are one of the two enclosures of the sheep. It's coming into lambing season now which is super super exciting. So as you can see there's quite a few little babies there. So next to the sheep enclosure we've got the donkeys and this is just one of their fields that they have to go around in and we've got four miniature donkeys and one Shetland pony. These are definitely my favourites. So this wasn't really a planned clip but it was just way 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 too cute not to put in and include. So this is Albert, my mum, this is Licorice which is mine and my second one because I just love the sheep. This is Toby. He's our youngest. So my dad has one of his favourite pigs and he's called Neville. So they've been like best friends for three years and every single time we go, my dad always takes him food and Neville gets out of his enclosure, well not enclosure, but gets out of his shelter, runs to the gate, the front gate, and squeals. He's so excited. My dad always feeds him, gives him a belly scratch and it's just the cutest thing ever. It's so, it's so nice to see. So this one is one of our friendliest pigs over here. She loves to have her belly tickled. So I'd say because she's so well behaved, but she's pretty cheeky, but we still let Peppa basically run around the farm, just do whatever she wants. And she's just kind of a free range pig, if that makes sense. As well as that, I absolutely love going on visits with them. It's one of my favorite things ever. So we go out on visits and we'll set up the enclosures and it's just amazing. It's such a great atmosphere. And it's so, one of my favorite parts is seeing the little kids coming over and they've got feed balls. And just watching the little kids, you know, opening the balls. And there's a funny story about that as well is there's a hack to opening the balls. It took me so long to master it. I've got it now, but it's the best thing ever watching someone do it. And they're like, no, it's okay, I can do it. I'm like, so I can help. I'm like, no, it's fine, I can do it. Five minutes later, they pass it to me, and then I'm like, do it straight away, it's great, it's the best feeling ever. So 
So we're currently in the guinea pig and rabbit enclosure and Beth has the cutest little baby guinea pig ever. And it's a girl and it's actually a little bit mysterious because I found it in the guinea pig pen and um, we didn't, there was no evidence of it being born, there was only the one. So it's just very mysterious but it's all happy and healthy and loving life. since it's summer the alpacas have just been shared and I think they look super super cute when they have. So this is Humbug, <laughs> this is Anna, this is Elsa, Marshmallow and Ruby. So which one's your favourite? Oh which one's my favourite? I'm going to yeah. say Marshmallow. Yeah she I agree. She was a bottle fed when she was younger so she's very friendly. Yeah. So now we're in with the other sheep and they are super super cute. So I'll be honest, these are my favourite out of the two. There's a couple of different breeds in with these, but they are super cute and definitely my favourite. So as I said, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of the animals are rescued. For example, one of the tortoises called Fred, he's a rescue. I'm pretty sure the bearded dragon's a rescue too. He's missing a couple of toes. And as well as this, one of the most important parts, so we've got a lot of animals that they've bottle fed. So for example, the alpaca marshmallow, we bottle fed her and we bottle fed quite a lot of lambs as well because there's a farm, like an actual production farm not far from here. There's a lot of lambs that get orphaned because the mothers reject them. What Ian does is he takes them in because the production farm does not have time to bottle, bottle feed and rear all these baby lambs that get rejected. Because it's just nature, it happens anyway, it's going to happen. So he takes them in, bottle feeds them, rehabilitates them and quite a lot of time we do keep them too. And it's just, it's a wonderful thing to see because if not, then a lot of these could, could die. And another thing as well is Ian never gives up on an animal, ever. One of my favourite examples is Hope. She had two deformed legs at the front and the vet said, there's nothing we can do. I think you should just put her to sleep. She's not in pain, but I think she's just put her to sleep because she's never going to be able to walk. Ian said, no, if she's not in pain, there's no point putting her to sleep. He's not going to take her life away from her. So he rehabilitated her. He bandaged her up and he trained her legs to... They're not straight now, but she can walk. And I've put a little video in here for you now of Hope. And she's my favourite goat there. Well, one of my favourites. I do love Harry. <laughs> What breed's that then? They are miniature zebu. This is Harry, Timmy, Tommy, Dominic, and this is Monty, our Shetland pony. So they are also one of the smallest breed of donkeys, and obviously Shetland pony. And this is Harry, he is the youngest, and he's my favourite. So we're now back in the barn, and this is one of this year's kids. He's called Olaf, he's very cute, and we totally don't have favourites. And he's pretty wriggly too. Hello, this is Holly, one of our pygmy guests, and she was last one of last year's kids, and she has got a brother called Ben. This is Kenya, one of our massive tortoises. So, the farm is a family-run business and it was set up in 2014. They go around schools, fairs, places like that, and they educate children and other people on animals and it's such a great, ex I've had so many amazing experiences and it's just such a great place in general. They also have a campsite on site at the actual farm and it's so, so good. It's got an amazing atmosphere, but obviously currently with the coronavirus, they can't have people camping out and they can't have, they can't go out to schools. But before coronavirus happened in about February time, we had a summer full of bookings. So we had weekends, which was like full like four day events and things like that. And um, they lost all the bookings overnight. So going from having a full diary to having nothing is very, very stressful. And you can imagine there's nothing they can really do about it either. So in winter, they don't really do as much with the visits because 
people aren't going to want to go stroll around the field in the cold looking at animals but they still do some Christmas events and that kind of thing but in summer that is their prime month that's the, where they make the most money and that's where they make the money for the rest of the year and through winter and they've set up a GoFundMe page which this is one of the most important parts of the video they set up a GoFundMe page I'm linking it down below so do please make sure you check that out and they did really well for the first month or so but you've got to think about the fact that for the first month that'll cover it but then they've still got to keep going they've got to live they've got to feed themselves they've got children they've got to feed they've got you know they've got to pay their electricity the food they've got to feed their animals they've got vet bills all that kind of thing still to do and they really need to raise over twenty five thousand pounds to be able to continue going and to continue running so this is why i'm making this video really they've not asked me to make this they've not I offered them, I said, are you okay with it if I do this because I want to spread awareness? So they've not asked me to do any of this. I just really, really hope that even if I can raise like two pounds from doing this video, it's worth it. It's worth every single second. So please, please, please consider it. Say I get this video, it gets 100 views and half of them donate 50p. You know, it, go, it all, all really does help. As well as if you don't want to donate any money at all, because I feel so horrible asking people to donate money, which I'm not really asking you to donate money. I'm just saying if it's something that you're interested in, you really want to help save these animals. Because a lot of them are rescue animals anyway. So they've come from somewhere, being rescued, being rehabilitated and looked after. So even if you don't, you know, I'm not asking that people necessarily to donate. If you could just share this video, you could share this, share their GoFundMe page. So currently it's £3,120, which is really, really, really good. And we appreciate it so so much but we've still got a long way to go and coronavirus is nowhere near over yet most of their income do come from schools and school events but since schools aren't really properly reopening yet they're really not going to be taking any visitors so earliest is going to be september before we get any school visit starting so that's no income until september thank you so so much for watching this video it means the absolute world to me i would appreciate it more than anything if you could check out the links i've put down below and check out the website and make sure you do go on the go for me page most importantly share this video please 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 share this video share their facebook page share all their social media that's the most important thing to come from this video but i hope you've enjoyed it that's pretty much it for me from now i'm gonna try and get as many videos as up as i can soon because i've missed one now because of this and because i missed one a couple of days ago they're all filmed they're ready to go up and i put them up very very soon so thank you so so much for watching i'll see you next time bye guys and i'm gonna help you <laughs> and i'm gonna help show you all the animals today <laughs> might do it again so you have a laughing <laughs> be able to look out, be out looked after still so this one is one of our friendliest pigs <laughs> and meg apparently <laughs> so this one is one of our friendliest pigs over here she loves to have her belly tickled when she's not running away from you <laughs> in the rabbit it's like a weightlift <laughs>